You know, it's all about the performance. I'd rather hear a bad mix of a great artist than a great mix of a bad artist. I mean, it all comes down to the performance. And if we lose that, you know, we're really just in the background. And I think a lot of people just get a little too big in the britches about how good they are and what they're doing. You know, we're lucky to win awards. So I think if you're a young guy starting out, if you can, uh, you know, just try to remain humble and, and, uh, and appreciate the fact that you're getting to do what you do, because there's thousands and thousands of guys that would give anything to do the kind of gigs we do. You know, you've got to put in the long hours, you've got to deal with the attitude sometimes and deal with artist requests and things and, and work things out and, and go for the best sound and work with your artists and you try and get them to perform as as good as they can and, and just get the audio out of the equation. That's where the best performances come from. When there's no thought of, I can't hear my monitor, I can't hear the drummer, this guy can't hear that. If you get stuff right for your artist, they should be able to perform without issue. And if you get them on the right microphones, don't just use what somebody told you was good. Try a few different microphones. Just because somebody else is using that kick drum mic or that guitar mic or that vocal mic, it doesn't mean it's good. Don't be afraid to experiment. Try a few things. But, you know, in the end, make some good choices. The good engineer can work with any of it, but he knows the difference between them.